Thank you for clicking on this video, it's good to have you here. And I hope the fact that you did click on it, the video will provide you with some help or clear up any kind of doubts and possible uncertainties that you may have. Because in my case, in my neck of the woods, deciduous and semi-deciduous dendrobiums are coming to the point where they are at their terminal leaf or close thereabouts. So if you're a little bit uncertain as to what needs to be done next, do you stop fertilizing or what? you should do in this phase of a dendrobium's life let me tell you that a terminal leaf does not necessarily mean you have to stop fertilizing there is still a long way to go before you do that at this stage the cane itself may not grow any longer however what we want to continue doing is by fertilizing the orchid as per usual regardless of the fact that it has a terminal leaf we want to fatten up the canes as best as possible and we can continue to do that until temperatures drop and day lengths literally get down to eight hours. Whether you are cultivating your dendrobiums indoors with a controlled environment or as in my case, my deciduous and semi-deciduous dendrobiums can all stay outside because here in southern Spain my winters do get a little bit too chilly for my liking but my deciduous and semi-deciduous dendrobiums absolutely love it. So right out of the gates, keep fertilizing. It matters not whether your dendrobium has a terminal leaf. Pump the energy into that because the dormancy and resting period has not arrived just because you see a terminal leaf. Sometimes you will also see that terminal leaves still have to put on a bit of size. That all depends on what dendrobium that you are growing. In the viewfinder, I happen to have a complex hybrid dendrobium nobili, and in its background, I have a species dendrobium. So there is no expectation when it comes to some dendrobiums that your terminal leaf needs to come to size as the previous leaves. They can stay smaller. They don't necessarily have to match size. That is not the point of fertilizing. The fertilizing is just to pump more energy in continuing with the rhythm for as long as possible. You can see my Cooksonianum in the back here also has its terminal leaf. That is this one right here, the growing point right there. There's nothing gonna come out of this one anymore. It's pretty much closed. The leaf also stands a lot more upright, pretty much capping off the growing point of that cane. While one is a complex hybrid and the other one is a species, you can see that in this case, the terminal leaf is gonna match the previous leaf size. And the same thing applies, fertilizing, fertilizing, fertilizing until the temperatures drop to when they go into resting phase. Nothing changes. Now, some deciduous dendrobiums are still in their active growth, but they are starting to slow down. And yet you can still see that another leaf is coming out of the growing point. And that is obviously very clear that we continue fertilizing for as long as possible. However, when it is time for that cane, those canes to develop a terminal leaf, same principle applies. Fertilize all the way until temperatures start to drop and that is when they enter into resting mode. Very easy to see on an afilum because the leaves will start to turn yellow. And no matter what you throw at the orchid, it's going to lose all the leaves. Dendrobium nobili types, and for example, my Dendrobium tortile, they will hold on to their leaves for at least another year or two years on the older canes that have bloomed out. So it's not to confuse one with the other just because because one loses the leaves that we stop fertilizing because it's very, very obvious. The other ones also get a resting period as the temperatures drop. Now, by contrast, my Dendrobium bensoniae, all the canes have their terminal leaf and yet I am still fertilizing. Even though those canes are much thinner, very similar to the Aphilum canes, I can still put energy into the orchid. And the reason I'm only showing this orchid in pictures is because look at that root system in the back. If I move her and try and hang her somewhere else, oh, those roots are gonna break and I'm gonna try and keep them cultivated until such a time that they too go into resting mode. But you see the roots are in active growth. It's awesome to be able to observe that on mounted dendrobiums that are working on a terminal leaf. Active root tips, proof the orchid is still actively growing, still looking for nutrition, and that is what we continue to provide, terminal leaf or not. For my example here in southern Spain, 
during the active growing period my temperatures will always be over 15 degrees celsius always the moment that temperature starts to drop and stays steady below 15 degrees celsius that is when it is time to stop the fertilizing and just continue with the flushing until it is really really cold in my climate it gets down to five degrees celsius but as of 15 degrees celsius that is my cutoff mark when i then see everybody has established their terminal leaf and i stop completely with the fertilizing does not mean i don't provide moisture they get nothing more because the steady low temperatures at night will trigger them to head into resting mode so if you're at this stage with your noblies and you were a little bit concerned about yeah that was easy my canes are nice the growing phase made sense fertilize and you weren't sure about oh <laughs> now what do i do i hope that this video was helpful keep fertilizing and if you have any questions the comments are there for a reason let's talk about it in your specific case i appreciate your time thank you so very much for watching i hope you have a beautiful day on one condition please that you stay safe take care bye